so the emergency shutdown has been conducted, but the process of cooling down the reactor is currently not going as planned. Yes, as of 60, uh, 4 to 36 p.m., we received a report that the water cannot be pumped, and we are currently working on how to obtain enough electricity so that the water can all be sent and pumped into the reactor's cooler. So we're using all the backup electricity systems that are available there. So you, is there a possibility, at this moment you said there was no danger of a radioactive leakage, but this is only the main problem at this moment, that the coolant uh, water cannot be pumped in. And yes, there is a backup measures that are in place. And of course, uh, at this place, uh, the Nuclear Industrial and Safety Agency will be briefing the media on this, so you could ask your technical questions to them. The Chief Cabinet Secretary, Yukihiro Edano, had held a news conference, and what he said in the news conference is that the Tokyo Electric Company's Fukushima number no. one nuclear power plant had, in order to cool the nuclear uh, reactor in a safe manner, all the emergency generator used to cool the reactor had, uh, was unable to operate. And according to the Nuclear Disaster Special Measures Law, they have announced and declared a nuclear emergency situation, but they said that there are no radioactive leakage at this moment, and they are calling for to residents in the nearby area to exercise calm. And ever since the law had been enacted in two th year 2000, uh, this is the first time that this declaration has been made. Now, uh, now that's a top government official in Japan briefing reporters on the situation concerning those nuclear reactors on the east coast of Japan. We heard earlier on that the country's nuclear reactors in the area where the earthquake took place had automatically shut down. They have an early warning system which shuts them down. We heard that they had shut down, but we're now hearing that there is a problem at one of those reactors and that the cooling system, that is when water is pumped into the reactor to cool those fuel rods, that cooling system is no longer working. In fact, they don't have enough electricity uh, to get those pumps working. We'll be monitoring developments there. Now, Lawrence Lee has been uh, monitoring all of this over the past few hours uh, since that uh, earthquake uh, took place in Japan and has put together this report.